the question, how do you think about installation in your own opinions? Uh, maybe most of people not so familiar with that our kind of art. Uh, this kind of art is really specific. So um, I'm going to introduce an artwork. Uh, it's an installation today. Uh, uh, yeah, it's another question. Uh, if you were an artist, how would you do the expression from an uh, installation? You know, every artwork is um, passing a kind of feeling that the artist wants to show. So let's go on. Uh, this is the post. I uh, last uh, last winter um go to the exhibition in Shanghai, uh, Modern Art Museum. The exhibition is uh, from an artist called Tai Guocheng. He is an artist, uh, one of my favorite artists. He did the performance art, uh, especially uh, explore. You know, it's a very special one. And uh, uh, very kind of installation. And uh, he put the installation and the sculpture together and uh, that expression very impressed me so much. So, uh, this is the artist. Now let's move on to the artwork. This installation is I'm going to introduce tomorrow, uh, today. <laughs> yeah, uh, the installation is showed, it showed a tendency, the walls go from, go, uh, from the rooms what uh, rooms one side and uh, go forward to the this thing and uh, head it heavily to the glasses and uh, it has a good tendency and uh, very vivid I think so I interviewed three persons about this artwork well when I first looked into the installation I thought that the animals were very realistic yeah. And I was really surprised and I was expecting it to smell, yeah. but um, it was also really amazing how they have all of their figures um, kind of twisted and rising up into the air and then tumbling yeah. down on the other side. But after I spent a little bit of time in there looking with my friend, I realized that it's not, um, it's not taxidermy, it's actually just like a toy yeah. thing. Yeah, so um, that was interesting. and. And that was cool too. And yeah, they have um, some realistic. The illustration is very cool. Uh, I've never seen so many animals put in such a formation before, especially going across on top of people. I can not tell too much what the, um, the feeling is supposed to be. I see a lot of wolves and then yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm not really too sure what the statement is supposed to be. Okay. Uh, so I mean, I think it's really well done. Okay. It's really well executed. I really like that you can walk through it. Yeah. I love um, full room installations, and I really like being able to walk through and get close to the wolves. And yeah. um, especially like when you walk underneath and you see all of the wolves above you and. I think that that is my favorite part, the kind of the bridge of wolves that you could walk underneath, and also just the amount of wolves there are. I really like how it's very spread out here and then it gets very dense, and it makes your eye kind of follow. I'm still not too sure what's going on over here. Maybe I would change them into horses, <laughs> because I like horses, okay. <laughs> but that would have a different meaning. I mean, I really like the installation, yeah. so there's nothing that I would change that I criticize about the installation. Maybe I would change just the roof, roof? the ceiling, so that you wouldn't see the grates of the ceiling. Um, I don't think so. The third person I interviewed is Cherry, Mark, and Boy. Uh, so I sent to them, and uh, uh, I want to summarize the interview. Uh, I think um, first question is how do you think about the installation? Most of people, when they 
install the installation, they think it's amazing maybe with a large size and uh, it will shake the, the person and uh, have a good view, vision art view, yeah. And, uh, if, and uh, I think, oh, I can show you the pictures, yeah. Uh, and um, uh, the other part is, what, what part is your favorite of the installation? Uh, maybe I think everybody think uh, the part they like is the kind of feeling the installation show and uh, it really did a good job uh, show um, put the walks on on that way that form go go through down like the bridge and uh, it really show the strong power I think. Uh, then I ask uh, the person if they work artist, will they change anything from the installation? Mm, but maybe it's a hard question because it's it's difficult to mm, to 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 um, to get the same understanding for an um, art from um, artwork because um, art was unlimited. Maybe everybody has its own understanding, so maybe person can't answer so for sure. Um, then I want to give my own interpretation. Uh, I think this insula installation, I really like it. And uh, when I saw it in the museum, I think um, yeah, it's really amazing and. You know, uh, I think the artist really gave a um, special way to show the uh, the project. Uh, I mean, you you like the expression's name, the nice way it showed a kind of natural power, and the artist put the walks, um, basements, and uh, go this way. They like. They like a life, and they, you can you can feel that they they hands are heavy, and uh, will give you a uh, great great experience in the museum. And uh, if I was artist, I would uh, I would have changed the works become more realist, cause uh, it's still a little rude. I, when you come close, you see the walk, it still uh, not so real life because um, maybe if I change every walk to be so vivid, it would be, it would be spent more money. So art, art is a, yeah, it's a way to have, have to cost many money. So, uh, but I still like the thinking because I think every artwork the important thing point is the thinking the artist should and the favorite part of the artist is of the artwork is I think the artist really did a good job to give every every viewer its own feeling it it can cheer many people up I think uh, uh, at the end of the presentation, I give the website of the artist called Tai Guo uh, If you like his artwork, you should go to his website. And I really recommend his performance artwork. It's really amazing. You can see the videos. It's just amazing. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, and what would you do? You want both the artists. So, if you want to create some art job, what would you do? Thank you.